The Boss Katana 50 has been considered the king of affordable practice amps, you know, the kind of modeling solid state things that you can also gig with. Vox has just released the Cambridge 50, which falls very much into the same category as the Boss. Is it actually better than the Boss? They're a bit different in certain aspects, but the important thing is sound, and that's what we'll check out after this intro. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Elmo Karjalan and you can call me this guy if that's tricky to pronounce. Today I'm comparing the Vox Cambridge 50 with the Boss Katana 50. This is the Mark 1. Now I've reviewed both amps and I've also reviewed the Boss Katana 50 Mark 2 and compared it to the Mark 1 and you'll find links to those videos in the description if you want to check those out before you check this one out. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be comparing the clean sounds, the crunch sounds, and the lead sounds. Um, in the Katana, that's just what it says, clean, crunch, and lead. In the Cambridge 50, I'll be using the Deluxe Clean, the Plexi, and the Brit VM, which is a Marshall JVM type thing. I'm also gonna be trying them out with an overdrive pedal. Uh, the Katana, of course, has built-in overdrive pedals and all kinds of stuff. Um, they're very similar in many ways, they both have delays and all that, but you can actually uh, use a boost from the Katana, which you can't do in the Cambridge, but I'm not going to go through all the features in detail. What is important, I'm going to be comparing three sounds basically and trying both out with an external overdrive pedal. EQ is set halfway on both amps, gain is set halfway unless I mention something different. I have bits of delay from both. I have a noise gate, I have an Ibanez universe with the stock pickups. I've tried both with strats previously and like I said, the links to those videos are in the description. So let's just get going with clean sounds. Let's start off with the Katana. <laughs> Okay, Vox Cambridge. By the way, I've tried to match the volumes and I have the microphone way back, so it should pick up both amps evenly. I don't have them closed mic, so actually hear what they sound like in the room-ish. <laughs> That's what the clean sounds sound like. Fairly similar features, like I said, except that the Cambridge 50 is slightly more simple, has slightly less bells and whistles, but it costs a bit more. So um, in Europe, the Boss Katana 50, uh, the Mark II is 259 euros, whereas the Cambridge 50 is 311 euros. That's not a big price difference, but anyway, it's slightly more expensive. To get dollar prices, I think you add 10% and you get the dollar price. Although I don't know what they go for in the US. 
So towards the end of the video I'll reveal what I think of these amps and um, also reveal what I think are kind of viable alternatives to these two. So stick around, let's get over to the crunch. Okay, so crunch, uh, like I said, I had to reset the volumes a bit because suddenly the katana was way louder. Um, okay, first katana, crunch, and then the Cambridge 50. <laughs> Okay, that's Crunch in the Katana. Let's go over to the Cambridge 50. Okay, let's go over to the lead channel. Actually, before we do, let's uh, add a bit of gain. Let's see how much gain they do in the crunch mode. Gain all the way up on both. First the katana. <laughs> Okay, uh, the Cambridge 50. <laughs> Okay, let's add a bit of overdrive from the Fender Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive to see what it does uh, when uh, we have this much gain going on. Probably need a noise gate as well. <laughs> Before I do more, uh, I have level and gain set halfway on the Fender Ingve Malmsteen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Cambridge 50. <laughs> Okay, uh, a bit fizzy and buzzy and so on, uh, the Cambridge 50 at this point, but I think that can be remedied with a bit of EQ, let's try. So I dropped the treble a bit and added a bit of bass, let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's go over to the lead channel. The EQ helped, by the way. Okay, I dialed back gain halfway on both amps and no overdrive pedal. At the moment, this is the lead channel on the Katana 50. <laughs> Same thing with the Cambridge 50, the Marshall JVM model, which is called Brit VM on the Cambridge. <laughs> Let's try both with a bit of overdrive on the lead channel with gain set the way it is, halfway that is. Cambridge 50. <laughs> I 
playing is all over the place. I'm freezing, I don't know why. Okay, I could go on and on um, and try different sounds and all that. I'll just try one more thing, which is uh, max out the gain on both of these amps now and uh, see what happens. <laughs> Cambridge 50 Katana 50 <laughs> Um, Cambridge 50. Okay, so what do I think? Well, um, they have their own character uh, where the boss katana is very mid-rangey, um, almost to the point where it's a bit annoying. Whereas the Cambridge 50 seems very almost scooped in comparison to the katana. When I did the review of the Cambridge 50, I really liked it, but uh, really liked it. Well. When I did the review of the Cambridge 50, I was surprised when I did <laughs> This is not going well. <laughs> when I did the re... When I did the review of the Katana for... for, for uh, the Cambridge! The Cambridge, I did the Cambridge, that was what I did. When I did the review of the Cambridge 50, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I liked the amp. Now I'm not so keen on it. It's probably because of the mid range thing that it sounds a bit scooped almost. But there's a lot to recommend both amps basically, because for this price, uh, neither one is bad. Personally, out of these two, I would probably just about choose the Katana 50. Just about. Why? Because it's, it has the built-in boost. It has more going on. You can store sounds on both, yeah. Mm. I'd actually probably choose the Katana 50 Mark 1, just because you could, could get it second-hand real cheap. And it has that little tilt-back thing here, we can tilt it back if you're playing live, uh, so you can tilt it back so that you can hear it better. Which the Katana Mark II doesn't have, which was weird. So if I had to choose, I'd probably just about choose the Katana 50. But I would actually not choose either one of these amps if I'm being honest, if I was uh, on the market for one of these types of things. Um, out of the ones currently on the markets, I really like the Fender Mustang LT25 
And I've seen that Fender have just released the LC50, which should bas basically be the same thing, only a bit more powerful. Um, that was actually a bit cheaper still than either of these. And I really liked that amp, uh, considering what it is. It also handled uh, an overdrive pedal really nicely, uh, and it had everything you basically need, um, kind of like uh, the Cambridge 50. That's one I really did like, more than either one of these. And if you want to go into the second-hand markets, I would go for a Roland Cube. Actually, they make a few Roland Cubes still, I think, but I would get um, the Roland Cube 80, XL or GX, either one is fine. Uh, I prefer those over these. It doesn't have to be the 80, it can be a 60 as well. I just like the sound of those more, but that's personal preference, it's all subjective. You could possibly even save a few bucks that way. So if you want to watch more of my amp previews, uh, there's a playlist somewhere here. Like, subscribe, comment, all of that. Support me on Patreon, I buy the gear that I review so you get an honest review. Yep, just about choose the Katana out of these two, but there's not a lot in it. And actually, breaking in the speaker on the Vox could make it better than the Katana. So, it's an open question. See you.